The German artist Max Liebermann was born in Berlin in 1847 and studied in Weimar, Paris and the Netherlands. The guiding artistic inspirations of his life were Dutch realism and French impressionism. He painted genre and social realist scenes, landscapes, and was celebrated as a portraitist. He achieved a prominent and influential position in the German arts, ultimately becoming president of the Prussian Academy of Arts, but as a German-Jewish artist his career ended under the shadow of Nazism. He resigned all his public posts in 1933, his works were banned from exhibition, and by the time of his death in 1935 he was a bitter and isolated figure. His own important art collection was stolen by the Nazis, and many works from it have yet to be recovered. His wife, Martha, killed herself in 1943, as, aged 85 and severely disabled by a stroke, she was about to be transported to a concentration camp. But in 1878, Lieberman was a young artist living in Paris and studying the latest developments in French art. In the spring of that year, he paid a visit to his hometown of Berlin, where he broke his leg. The injury was painful and recovery took a long time. To recuperate, he travelled to Austria, then south into Italy, his first visit to that country, where he spent some time in Venice. While there, he painted Old Woman with a cat. This painting, which is now at the Getty Museum in California, exemplifies the key influences on Lieberman during this formative period of his career. Northern European realism is blended with French Impressionism and the sunshine and colour of Italy. An old woman sits in a chair in the sunshine with her cat on her lap. Her chair stands on a fraying rush mat spread over stone slabs. Behind her is a wall of red brick, old and worn, with crumbling render. She might be in a yard at the back of her house, or sitting on the street outside. Sunshine suffuses the scene. There are no strong shadows or bright highlights, just a steady golden light falling evenly upon everything. The wall, the ground, the woman's colourful clothes, her creased and textured skin. The light sinks into the cat's thick black fur, with just a gleam of reflected light on its head and some stray hairs on its back. The evenness of the light, the refusal of the artist to manipulate it in order to imply a hierarchy of significance, reflects Lieberman's engagement with the evolving philosophy of French Impressionism. The woman is old, but she is not feeble. Her body is upright, and her hands and face are strong. Lieberman was criticised by some for his social realism, his commitment to the realistic depiction of ordinary life and ordinary people. Critics called his works ugly, but this woman is beautiful and dignified. The solid integrity of her presence reflects Lieberman's Dutch influences, although her bright clothing, a rich harmony of creamy white and blue, red-brown and pink, highlighted with gleams of gold, is, like the sunlight, northern Italian in inspiration. She holds the cat almost maternally, her large hands enfolding it gently. Their heads are bent together, the woman looking down, the animal looking up. There is nothing sentimental in her attitude or expression. Her face is not sweet, but it is suffused with the deep tenderness built on long companionship and the experiences of a long life. This glimpse of a shared interlude of companionship in the sunshine is deeply moving and full of feeling, but there is nothing sentimental about it. This poignant painting exists entirely on its own terms, as beautiful as the instant in time it captures, as dignified, self-contained and aloof as the two living creatures it portrays.